Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagide Imo TV. Today, the 30th day in the month of August, year 2022. I am Morire Rebila Lawa. First, are the major headlines for the national news. Buhari government advises Nigerian students from Ukraine to transfer to public universities currently on strike. Government killed PDP ex organizing secretary in Play 2. 25,000 Nigerians missing, says Red Cross. No more negotiation with FG, ASU. Pregnant Abuja lady seeks buyer for unborn baby. Now the news in detail. The Federal Ministry of Education's Permanent Secretary, Andrew David Adejo, encouraged the returnees to visit the ministry's official site to apply for further education in any university in the country. The Nigerian government has all Nigerian students evacuated from Ukraine to transfer to local universities at home to continue their education amidst the growing, indefinite and comprehensive strike declared by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, on Monday. The Federal Ministry of Education's Permanent Secretary, Andrew David, encouraged the returnees to visit the ministry so as for them to get enrolled. He noted that the registration would be closed within three weeks, adding that 354 Nigerian students at Earlier registered were exempted from the new registration process. Building on an earlier advertisement by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, MFA, the Federal Ministry of Education, FME, wishes to request Nigerian students evacuated from Ukraine who are educated in Nigerian universities to visit the FME website. To the next story. Unknown gunmen have allegedly shot dead Naomi Gohoshak a former organizing secretary of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Mangu Ward 1, Mangu local government area of Plateau State. A source explained to Daily Post that the former organizing secretary was killed when the assailant attacked his house in the community on Saturday night. According to the source, an unidentified corpse was also seen along Mangu Road side, close to the community, where the former PDP official was killed. The source said that Niami was at his house in Dakbe village when some gunmen came and shot him dead around 7 p.m. It is close that two years ago, Niami's elder brother was also shot and killed in the same house. To the next story, the International Committee of the Red Cross has said no fewer than 25,000 people have been reported missing in Nigeria. The organization said out of the figure, 14,000 were children whose whereabouts remain unknown. In a statement to mark the International Day of the Disappeared in Abuja on Monday, ICRC's head of delegation to Nigeria, Yen Bonzo, stated that the documented cases of missing persons were on the rise. ICRC also disclosed that these registered cases did not capture the full scope of the often neglected and tra tragic humanitarian issue. The statement partly read in Nigeria alone, over 25,000 people have been reporting, reported missing. Almost 14,000 or more than half of the missing are children. Moving to the next story as regards the ASU strike. There are strong indications that members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, may have declared an indefinite strike following the federal government's failure to meet their demands. It was learned that the lecturers made the resolution during their National Executive Council meeting, which began at about 12.15 a.m. on Monday and lasted four hours at the National Secretariat at the University of Abuja. The communique of the meeting, which will give details of the decisions taken and not been released yet, but credible sources said the majority of ASU chapters across universities killed into the decision to go on indefinite strike. It was also learned that beyond the indefinite strike, some lecturers had advised that the union should boycott further talks with the federal government until when another government is formed after the exit of President Muhammad Buhari on May 29, 2023. ASU had declared the commencement of a strike on Monday, February 14, 2022, and has been lingering for over six months. And finally, on the national news. A pregnant lady identified only as Chinaza has approached doctors at the National Hospital in the Ohio Capital Territory, Abuja, to seek buyer for her unborn child. Punch Metro gathered that a 23-year-old lady got pregnant. She left her parent house in Imo State to live with her friend in Lagos State. A source in the hospital who spoke with our correspondent on Monday said Chinaza's friend's house 
who was later demolished, adding that they both relocated to Abuja. The source said a pregnant lady came to the hospital over the weekend and said she wanted to sell her unborn baby. She said she mistakenly got pregnant and left her parents' house in Emo State to stay with a friend in Lagos State. While living with her friend, she said her residence was demolished and they traveled to Abuja to live with their friend's uncle. She said her uncle's landlady complained about the number of persons occupying the apartment and they were also asked to leave. That concludes the national news from BGI TV. Before we go, some major headlines. Buhari government advises Nigerian students from Ukraine to transfer to public universities currently on strike in the country. Government killed PDP ex organizing secretary in Benue. I will brought to you pregnant Abuja lady six buyer for our unborn baby. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe, click on the notification bell, select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawi Adibayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services, coverage of events and function, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Mo Rebila Lawal. Good afternoon.